Good to go. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, not Twitter, YouTube and all that stuff. Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, it looks like we are live and we're good to go. There's like 12, eight cameras. I'm exaggerating. There's like six cameras or something like that. So I don't know where to look. I'm like this now. Uh, we're stepping our, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're stepping our, uh, stepping our game up here at the lab. Thanks to Manny and Vidi. I uh, hope you guys have noticed that the production value is that much, like a hundred times better. Um, we're to do, to do the workout. I was uh, told by my wife, good to see you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I was told by my wife I should, uh, she suggested I should not do the warm ups. Like, yeah, you don't need to do the warm ups every time because it's the same warm ups as always. I was like, yeah, but yes, dear. Okay, so no warm ups. So, as we normally do, I just got done uh, sparring and got beat up by some of my boys here. Uh, the hardest working gym in the world, whether we're quarantined or not, that's this place. If you got a problem with that, you can say something. We can figure it out. Uh, so I just got done sparring, so I'm pretty warmed up. I'm pretty good to go. But you guys, I do strongly suggest, I strongly recommend, make sure you guys get a, a pre-warm up and then getting in your um, uh, the dynamic stretches, yeah? Uh, the the pre-warm up is to introduce your body into working out, saying, hey, we're starting, getting ready to work out. We're starting to work out now. And then the uh, dynamic stretches to get your body really warmed up and ready to go and then hitting the workout. I'm not going to do them because I was uh, suggested for my wife not to do them. Uh, but you guys should all know them already if you follow along. If you don't know them, uh, if you look back at any other workouts I've done uh, in the past, and they all have the same uh, pre-warm up, the same dynamic stretches, which uh, get us ready to do the workout. All that being said and done, that saves us about a good 10, 15 minutes. Um, let's get the workout. So the workout for today is going to be 40 sprinters. On these sprinters, the idea is to, uh, to be explosive, yeah? So I'm going to start out in a a split stance, like a squat stance here. I'm working on just my explosion up. Working on my explosion up, explosion up. Yeah, so uh, these are s almost like a sprinter. I mean, they, they call them sprinters, almost like a sprinter position. They're really working on just firing and being explosive. Not really trying to fire like super high up in the air. I'm not trying to get height on this, but I do just want to be explosive into my next stance. After the sprinters is uh, 40 high knees. So the sprinters are 40 total, 20 each leg. So there's one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. 40 of those, 20 each leg. After that, it's gonna be 40 high knees. Again, 20 each, 20 each leg, 20 each side, 40 total. After that, it's gonna be uh, side to side lunges. One up and out. One down, there's one, there's one, so that's side to side lunges on that one. After that, ask me 20 plank rotations, planks with rotations. After that, ask me regular uh, mountain climbers, not the wall mountain climbers. I did get a couple messages from you guys. Uh, someone, got, a couple of you guys said you guys did the uh, wall mountain climbers and how bad they suck. They're the same thing, like a, a different variation of like a wall push up where your feet are on the wall and your hands are on the ground, and those push-ups really kind of suck. Those mountain climbers where your hands are on the ground and your feet are on the wall, they really sucked. And uh, some of you guys were talking about how, how bad they were, how, uh, how tough they were, how tough you, you uh, tougher than they thought you thought they were going to be. After the regular mountain climbers, we can do alternating arm and leg raises from a plank position. After that, I did have a request on some of my favorite ab exercises. I don't like doing abs necessarily. I do a lot of them, thanks to my strength conditioning coach and my, all my other coaches. So we do do a lot of abs. It's not that like I don't like doing abs, but I feel like abs are something you should do incorporating them in the workout. The whole time I'm working out, my abs are engaged my, and my abs are fired. Like it's like you're, again, the same analogy I used before. It's like you're taking a, a selfie in the mirror or you're getting ready to pose for somebody. You're taking a picture and you're super flexed. You're sucking it in. You're engaged. You're flexed. I want you guys to be sucking it in, engaged and flexed the whole time you're doing my workouts. The whole time you're, you're working out, you should be working on and staying engaged. It helps with, uh, helps with a lot of things, but uh, it, it, that is a core workout in itself. And at the end of the, the uh, practice, you don't need to throw in, okay, now we do core and do like 20, 40, 50 different things of core because they suck and they make me tired and I'm sad. So that's the real reason why I don't do them. I try to incorporate it in my workout. 
the whole time you're doing it, whether you're doing the sprinters, whether you're doing the push-ups or the wall, mountain climbers, the whole time you're working out, really work on, really focus on keeping your core engaged. Throughout a workout, you'll see me go like this, and that's me just checking to make sure my, my core is engaged. It's not just like a little small like this, but I'm like super tight, super flexed, super engaged the entire time. Uh, so that being said, I had some people ask me what were my favorite core exercises to do. He said, even though you don't like doing core, we know you like doing core and you don't do core in your workouts, what are some of your favorite core exercises to do? So I'm gonna do two core exercises for you guys. Uh, one is uh, a variation of crunches and one's a variation of flutter kicks. They both really suck. And then the last one's the windshield wipers. They all really suck, they're all really uncomfortable. They all, I don't really enjoy that much, uh, but they are effective. Yeah, so let's go again. Uh, nine exercises. Let's start out with the sprinters. With the sprinters, again, we're doing 40 total, 20 each leg. Starting out in the runner's position here, really works, working on focusing on firing your legs, engaging your legs, being explosive, that quick, tish, quick twitch muscle. I really want that quick twitch. So let's go. Uh, starting down in the position, let's go 40 total. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. So that was 20 each leg or 40 total. After that's gonna be the high knees. High knees was 20 of them or 40 of them? High knees was 40 high knees total. 20 each leg, pretty easy peasy. Staying still, keeping your core engaged, 40 high knees. One. And there's 40. I even have a microphone on. Check that out. That's how fancy we're getting here at the lab. Uh, after the high knees, side to side lunges. 20 of them, 10 each. Making sure you step over the hurdle. Don't when you step through it, you're stepping over it. And when you step back, step over the hurdle. Don't just step through the hurdle. Those are some details for you guys who like additional details and making it that much harder for yourself. Easy enough to do any exercise. But then you add in this detail. Then you add in that detail. Then you add in this detail. And you add in all the little small finer movements, finer details. It can take your workout from like here to here. And that's kind of what a personal trainer should do. Whether you're working out uh, here at my gym, Jared Key, our strength and conditioning coach, my personal strength and conditioning coach. He adds in all those details this, detail that, detail this. Okay, this, this set, or this, uh, yeah, this set, I want you to do it this way. Next set, I want you to do this way. Really emphasize getting that scapular to, to push out, to extend and then come back, all that sort of stuff. So side to side lunges, detail stepping up over and making sure your toe that's going to lunge, when you land, it's pointed out just a little bit. I don't want your toes to be completely, your feet to be completely perpendicular to each other. I want the toe, the foot that's going, doing the stepping, is gonna be out just a little bit, just a hair bit. Foot's gonna be pointed outwards. So, 20 each. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, 
seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and there's twenty. Next exercise. Uh, we're doing planks with rotation. Planks with rotation, mountain climbers, and then the single arm, single leg, alternate arm, alternating leg. So first is a plank with rotation. On these planks with rotation, I want a good solid plank. I want to make sure your back stays straight. I want your butt arched. Your back to base, back to stay straight. This is straight, keep your feet apart a little bit, feet like shoulder width apart. Now on this rotation, I want to, there's different variations of doing it. For this variation, I want to make sure we overemphasize stretching in and then stretching out. So I want to overemphasize stretching in. I don't want to just reach in. I want your body, your, your upper body, your chest to curl in as you stretch. So we're here, curl in, going up. Other side. And there's one and one. You can go feet together if you can. That's just fine. Two. Two. Three. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven. Seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. And that is planks with rotation. Next one, it'll be regular mountain climbers. If you want to step it up a notch, if you feel like doing a little bit extra, that's just fine. You can do the uh, wall mountain climbers. Wall mountain climbers, we did them last time, or maybe two ago, I remember. But regular, hands on the ground, feet are on the wall. I don't want your feet way up high. I want your feet nice and down low, as if you're doing a regular push-up position. You can bend your knees a little bit and you go up and down with your feet. And that's a wall mountain climber. For a regular mountain climber, easy enough. We're going here, keeping your butt down and feet go in. I don't like the ones where your butt's going up and you're doing this. Your feet might get higher doing this variation of it. Your feet will go higher to your chest almost. But I don't want to necessarily care about that motion. I don't want those, that muscle group to get worked right now. The muscle group I do want worked is keeping our butt down and just going up and down here. I want like a high knee motion. I want your knees to go as high to your chest. So I don't really care about your feet as much. I want your, your, your knees to go high to your chest on these mountain climbers. So we're doing, I think we're doing 20 of these or 40 of these. We're doing 40 mountain climbers. So that's 20 each leg. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. And that's forty mountain climbers and/or twenty each leg. 
After that, there's going to be 10 alternating legs, alternating arm from our plank position. So we're here in a plank, feet uh, shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. And your opposite leg and your opposite hand are going to be raised up. You don't want to lose your balance. You're going to keep your core nice and tight, stay engaged. And you want to try and not move as little as possible. We'll try and move as little as possible, what I'm trying to say. Pretty hard, pretty tough. The people who are great at it, their whole body stays super still. It's actually kind of crazy to see once you try it and then you watch them do it, like, oh man, that must be so hard. And your back leg doesn't have to go like way up. Just have your leg go up just a hair bit. Ah. Ten. Ten. And that was ten. So five each side, alternating legs, alternating arm raises. Now we're going into some of the crunches that I prefer, that I like. One of them is a regular lying flat on your back, keeping your up a little bit. Have your palms pointed towards your feet. So I don't want your hands flat, palms flat to the ground, and your palms up towards your feet. Now when you do these kind of crunches, I want you to think about not curling your back. So I want to curl my back. See I'm curled right here? My back's like moving a little bit. My mid back is on the ground and I'm curling my back off the ground slowly. I don't want that. I want your back to stay flat and think about raising your chest to the sky. So only your lower back should be touching the ground. You're not going to raise up super high. You're only going to raise up a little bit. You won't be raising up like this high because that's more of a curl, that's more of a crunch. This one, it, it, we call, they call it a crunch, but a different variation. You're taking your chest to the sky, keeping your palms towards your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. And that's one set. The next uh, crunch ab exercise we're going to do uh, is a really fun one that really sucks. And depending on how, uh, how hardcore, how BA you want to be with it, you can grab a, excuse me, you can grab a partner or you can grab a, excuse me, a wire, a line, something in front of you. Or you can use your imagination and try and be uh, nice and controlled with it. But if you got your partner, have your partner hold their hand out nice and straight in front of your, in front, uh, on top of your knees, your, your, your thighs. And you don't want your thighs to touch their hand. So you're going to be right here, and then you're going to either place a line. Turn this way might be better, huh? I'm going to be right here. You're going to place either a line, or their hands are going to be right here. And I want you to touch your hands. because so I want to get rid of the rocking motion. I want to be here, and then rock to go up. I want to stay here, keeping my, my legs, my hips in a 90 degree. At no point do I want to rock back to go up. I want to keep my legs, knees in 90 degree, and my hips in a 90 degree the whole time. Once I'm here, put your hands flat to the ground, and now your knees are going to the sky. It's not going to be very far. It's going to be like maybe an inch or two, and that's it. But don't use a rocking motion. Don't use your momentum to rock yourself. Just go straight flat here. Really use your hands, push off, and go up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. Those would really suck. They're a very good lower ab exercise. You'll feel your lower abs burning. After that one, let's do a full, uh, full ab, full core one. These are called dead bugs. And I picked these up from uh, uh, a very smart man named uh, Al Escobar, one of the smartest uh, physical trainers, uh, sport science guy uh, out there in the, in the whole. I've met a lot, quite a few uh, physical trainers, personal trainers, uh, sport science guys, all super smart guys who think they're super smart and you know, they know every muscle in the body and they, oh, this muscle is called this and that little tiny muscle is called this and they know like all the, the small muscle fibers not just the, the big muscle groups, like, oh, well, that's your deltoid, oh, that's your, your hamstring. They know the individual muscles inside the freaking hamstring. Everything has a name. Those guys are super smart. Mr. Al Escobar is one of the smartest guys I've ever uh, had the pleasure to work with. So we're here on our dead bugs. You can add weight if you want to. Is that better? You can add weight if you want to. You don't have to add weight. If you're going to add weight, you're going to add uh, either dumbbells in your hands and then ankle weights, but dumbbells in your hands, ankle weights, or you can just, uh, you don't have to use any weight. When you first learn this, if you haven't done anything like this before, don't use any weight. As you get better and better at it, then you can add weight if you want to. First, I'm going to be here. Again, knees in a 90 degree, hips in a 90 degree, ankles in a 90 degree. I don't want your ankles to be lazy. Your legs, your ankles are engaged the whole time. Knees are engaged the whole time. Your, your, your thighs your, will be working as well. Your, 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 your quads on top. Hips are engaged. Your core is flex, super flex in, in for your core. On your back, I want your back to be a little bit curved. I, want, I do not want the flat of your back, the small of your back, on the ground. See how my hips are here as opposed to this. I, don't want, I do not want this. I do not want your, your lower back on the ground. And be curved a little bit keeping a small little space in, in between your, your back and the ground. On these dead bugs, I'm going to go first, uh, variation nice and easy, just opposite hand, opposite leg. They're going to go down, same time, coincide together. Back up, same time, coincide together. One, one, two, two. Three, Eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Oh. Those dead bugs, if you really go slow and isolate and take your time and you're really engaged in your core, they really suck too. They're not any fun. Uh, but there's different variations that you can go opposite hand, opposite leg, you can go both hands, both legs. That's the like a higher variation of it, uh, go down a step, you can just do your arms first. And really concentrate on keeping your elbows straight, keeping your palms in, and rotating only at your shoulders. Everything else should stay super straight, super engaged. Your legs as well. Super straight, super engaged. So you can start with those if you want to. That's starting down a, a level or two. You can go up a level or two, you can go same time. Back and arm, legs and arms, same time together. But I would recommend, I would suggest starting with the other ones and then working your way up from there. And that's three, right? That was the crunches, uh, palms to the sky. That was the uh, knees going to the sky. And then that was the dead bugs. So again, the workouts were as 40 sprinters, making sure you work on the explosiveness. You're exploding, you're exploding, you're exploding. Every time you go in between, you're setting. 
You're getting set again and then explode. Set again, then explode. It's not a, continuum, a continuous motion one into the other. You're not using a, a running motion. You're not, you're not using your momentum at all. So I'm not going from for these first exercises of the sprinters. I'm not doing this. Or it's one after the other. It's one here. Going to the next one. Exploding to the next one. Exploding to the next one. It's uh, working our quick twitch muscles as much as possible. After that was the high knees. And then the side to side lunges and the planks with the rotations and then the mountain climbers making sure we drive our knees to the chest on those mountain climbers not thinking about getting your feet as high as possible but think about getting your knees to your chest after that was the alternating legs and arm raises and then the three different uh ab exercises that i think suck the most that was the uh, chest to the sky palms towards your feet that was your knees to the sky. And then that was the different variations of the dead bug, dead bug. And that is it for today's workout. Again, hit me up, message the lab, whatever. Let me know what you think about the exercise, what you think about the workout, uh, whether you thought it was a good one, whether it was not a good one. If there's anything else you want to see in any of the workouts, if you want to see more uh, shallow boxing, more kickboxing, more more wrestling drills. There's a ton of wrestling drills you can do. There's a ton of uh, kickboxing or boxing drills you can do. I'm making this, trying to make this as general as possible for all student bodies. I don't want to make it so sport specific where we're doing nothing but wrestling drills. But if you want to do, you know, just wrestling drills, I can do that just fine. No problem. I got a lifetime, 20 years of wrestling, wrestling drills that we can do. Or we can do just straight jujitsu drills. We have those also. Or straight boxing drills. I have a lot of those also. Or straight Muay Thai drills. I have a ton of those also. So it's whatever you want, but hit us up, hit me up, let me know. Make sure if you're on Instagram or if you're on Facebook Live, make sure you guys check out our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel, we're getting it back into play. We have a ton of great old content that you have seen before and may have forgotten about and might get a good laugh or might think, oh yeah, I used to love that move. I, I stopped doing it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing that move again. Uh, Jiu Jitsu move or kickboxing move or whatever, or wrestling move. And a lot of cool old content that has never been seen before being released on YouTube because uh, we're going, we're sitting here at quarantine also, same as you guys, and going through our old archives and see that we got a lot of uh, cool stuff that hasn't been out, put out there, so might as well put it out there now because we got a ton of time. Uh, I think that's it. Make sure you guys tune in. I think tomorrow is Mr. Rob Emerson, so 5 o'clock, same time. Check out Mr. Rob Emerson, my, my uh, striking coach. He has a lot of great, amazing content. A lot of the stuff that he shows, I, I watched his live one. A lot of stuff that he shows is the same stuff that I'm doing for, for my pri uh, privates with him. Uh, and then, I think that's it. If you guys are looking for something to do in the Phoenix area, hit up the Glendale Drive-In. It's pretty cool, pretty fun. And you're staying socially distant from people inside your own car, and it's pretty fun. Uh, thank you guys very much for tuning in. Uh, thank you, uh, I'll see you guys later. And Monday, we're going to try again to do another couples workout. We'll see how it goes. Thank you, guys. I'm going to walk off now.